from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We are on day 19 of the government shutdown. President Donald Trump met with Democratic leadership on Wednesday to discuss plans on reaching a deal. Democratic leaders say President Trump abruptly walked out while the president tweeted that meeting was, quote, a total waste of time. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the president ended the meeting when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi refused to agree to fund a border wall. The principal of a Manatee County charter school is now making his case to the state. Eddie Hunley is trying to clear his name after the Department of Education sanctioned him. The Lincoln Memorial Academy principal wrote a glowing recommendation for a teacher who was later arrested for child porn. Education officials say Hunley violated state law, but Hunley claims that teacher was not under investigation at the time Hunley recommended him. The families of two South Florida teens who died in a fiery crash are suing the Tesla car company. Lawyers claim the 2014 Tesla those teens died in had a defective battery pack that caused the car to catch on fire. Attorneys claim there have been at least a dozen reported cases worldwide of Tesla S batteries catching on fire in crashes and while sitting still in the last five years. Issues surrounding R. Kelly are not going away anytime soon. We're now learning an arrest warrant was issued over the summer for Kelly's former manager, James Mason. He's accused of threatening to kill the father of one of the women featured in the new docuseries, Surviving R. Kelly. And now here's Dennis with your forecast, Dennis. How you doing, everybody? Temperatures will be dropping into the 30s and 40s on Thursday morning, especially northern counties, Citrus, Hernando, Pasco, Sumter. You'll be between about 35 and 40. Pinellas likely in the low to mid 40s, even upper 40s, closer to St. Pete, Hillsborough County in the lower 40s. So most of us will be waking up to temperatures about 10 degrees below normal, and I think more of the same on Friday. Thank you, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget you can always download the free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Drivers always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road because safety doesn't happen by accident.